It's three o'clock in the morning and we're on our way to the airport. Mom has decided to join us so she can have both vehicles while we're gone. Not really. <laughs> well, but... Yeah, but it's also logical. Hello, it is Editing Crayon here, and today we're doing a voiceover, which I have never done before, so may God have mercy on our souls. This was the point where I decided that the car was way too quiet, so I decided to play Thriller as we drove in the dark. Fun fact, when I was 8 and we were driving home from Children's Hospital at 3 in the morning after I had a severe asthma attack, I listened to Thriller and started to panic, but that was mostly due to undiagnosed anxiety. We also listened to Billie Jean along with Beat It and a few other Michael Jackson songs because the drive was long and it was very, very quiet. Ah. It's almost four in the morning and we are at the airport. It's like you're recording this for posterity. Or because something. I am. Oh my goodness, you are! Oh. <laughs> I didn't realize. Mom, say hi. Hi! <laughs> This is my lovely mother. She cooks very good and is a very great mom. After we bade farewell to my mom, my dad and I went inside, and I was very confused since I hadn't set foot in an airport since I was 10. Then I saw the Delta Airlines sign and couldn't stop laughing. And as you already know, this is my dad. Dad in his natural habitat, the airport. The airport. Yeah. We made it to the airport. Wow, wow. <laughs> It's now 6 o'clock, and I am starting to get slightly impatient. Like, not impatient, but I just want to, like, hurry up and board the plane and then sit there for four hours and then land. Now this is where I really started getting impatient and anxious. For those of you who do not know, I have the deadly combination of a long attention span but zero patience. Yes, I could watch half a season of Riverdale or more in one sitting, but I lack the patience to do so. Also, the last time I was on a plane was years ago, and then my ears nearly exploded. Now that I have braces, I can't chew gum to relieve the pressure. Needless to say, I wasn't exactly looking forward to take off and landing. This is where we started to reverse, very, very slowly. It took too long in my opinion, but that's just the way the runway worked. Now, I don't really like going backwards too much, it's why I have a hard time on ferris wheels, but it turned out all fine in the end. This is where I accidentally dropped my phone on my pants and my dad picked it up and decided to film a little bit. I was laughing and this green thing that I'm about to put into my mouth is a Jolly Rancher. It is a hard candy that's really great for anxiety. Then we stopped going backwards. Slowly but surely we started moving towards the runway. At this point I just wanted to get into the sky already. I had no patience left. Time for takeoff. The runway was long, probably longer than the entirety of the pacer or beep test. Did anyone else call it the beep test? I did it for a measly three years of middle school, but that was more than enough for me. The last two years in gym class, I was actually supposed to take gym testing, but both years, my teachers forgot, and I thank my lucky stars from that. Anyway, the runway was incredibly long, and I was also running out of patience for the 15th millionth time. I'm ready. Are you ready? So far, it feels like a ride on the school bus. <laughs> up and down, up and down. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh, Sometimes oh. our bus driver, like, he purposely guns it over the railroad tracks, so we all, like, bounce. This is when it's, like, only the high school kids left. Yeah. It's and everybody really... does something? No we, no, we all, like, bounce. We all, like, get air a little. We all float off our seats for a good hot second. <laughs> Are we ready? Yes, ma'am. And takeoff commenced. We sped down the runway, then lifted off into the air, and I could see everything from a bird's eye view without using Google Maps for once. The plane ride was very long, about three and a half hours, and since I had gotten up at two in the morning, I fell asleep for most of it. We didn't die, so mission accomplished. <laughs> <laughs> it's like you're in the middle. <laughs> Oh, is this the part where we crash now? <laughs> well, how old was I? Uh, uh, like four? Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, you're pretty little. See, no snow. <laughs> no snow. It's July, so we shouldn't. Better not. <laughs> 
we got to Texas. It is hot and it is humid, but we got here. We got it. <laughs> this is where things get a little bit spicy. You see, for the entirety of my trip there, I forgot to film except for one minuscule clip. In the background, you will hear my little cousins. I did not film them for the sake of their privacy. Do you want to be in the video? What? I don't know. I just make videos sometimes. Nothing. Just say hi. <laughs> That was all the footage I got. It was a very fun trip. I got a bit of a sunburn. I went to Six Flags and an ice cream factory. So all in all, it was a pretty good trip and I would do it again. I'm sorry for not filming more, but honestly, I was having too much of a good time to remember and my phone wasn't always with me. So thank you for watching the video and I'll see you soon.